Hi, today I will give a brief introduction to our paper, Deep Neural Nets with Interpolating Function as Output. In a typical classification task, uh, the input x is fed through a neural network to generate deep features x tilde, which is then fed to a softmax layer. And uh, the, training, the training and the inference both rely on this architecture. In this work, we re replace the softmax function by a new activation layer method named uh, WNLL, which is motivated by recent work on manifold interpolation. So our ar architecture is the following. Instead of directly passing through the network, we use a template data along with its labels X template and Y template, feed it through the network, and generate the prediction by interpolating uh, the deep features X tilde on X tilde template and Y tilde template. So an immediate challenge we face uh, from using this method is that the interpolating function WNLL is non-differentiable. Uh, we deal with this by replacing the WNLL layer with a linear layer during backpropagation, but still backpropagate using the interpolated values. This approach has some theoretical uh, justification, but uh, has also proven to work well in practice. The main motivation for our method is the following. Um, we conjecture that the deep features x tilde lie on some manifold, and also um, examples with similar labels should have similar deep features. So this is why the manifold interpolation works. Um, our approach also enjoys some other theoretical interpolations um, uh, for ResNets by connecting to um, a terminal value uh, transport problem. Our approach has shown uh, two benefits uh, empirically. The first one is it seems to generalize um, much better on small data sets, and also it improves generalization accuracy um, overall. So uh, we tested this on a wide variety of uh, networks on CIFAR and also uh, on CIFAR 10, 100, and also SVHN. And uh, on all networks, there seems to be uh, some margin of improvements. So one limitation of our met uh, method is that uh, WNLL is non-parametric, and at inference time, it requires certain batches of training data, which is uh, non-ideal. So our future work will be um, focused on improving this. Thank you.